Welcome back to the channel guys and to another video. If you can remember the last balancing video I done was the vacuum element, the double plane vacuum element which I done in 15 minutes. Today I received a impeller from a customer of mine which, I'm, which is a single plane. Let me just show you the job quickly. Okay guys and this is the impeller that I must balance. This impeller is about 400 and and 25 430 millimeters diameter i must still weigh it and she looks like quite a big boy heavy boy that's the shaft yeah let's do this and that i'm going to do for you guys in 15 minutes enjoy the video Six kgs. Right, I got all the information here that I need to put in the computer, but first let's assemble this thing and check the static unbalance. Okay, she's all assembled. Now I'll just put it on the machine and uh, check the static unbalance. Okay, so I've got her all on the machine, set up with the end stops all on there. So um, next is to do the static balance. Okay, so like with everything, I'm gonna give it a spin first. The reason for me spinning this for all the new people is to see if there's a heavy spot on this unit which will obviously settle to the bottom so you can see she's actually turning back so the heavy spot is somewhere there so what I'll do now I'll mark it I'll put a mark here which will be the top and I'll spin it once again and if it lands back with a mark on top there that means opposite to that would be heavy so let's just mark this in quickly okay I'll make a mark here I'll make a mark here and I'll call this mark the top and I'll give it another spin okay let's give it a spin and let's see, let's see where she settles. Like anybody that's new to the channel, this is going to be a 15 minute of, of this balancing. I have loaded videos in the past. So you can go back to those videos. There will be single phase um, part one and part two. You can actually see the steps there, but I'm going to just go through it here fast. 
and then whilst you at that you can actually subscribe and hit the notification bell add a comment if you want okay so you can see there guys she's going back she's going back and she's going to settle and that mark is actually going back to the top exactly where she was so down here is too much weight this is where i must grind so let me put a mark there quickly and um start grinding okay let's mark this here this is the heavy the heavy spot here and that's where i must take off weight okay let's start grinding Okay, so I grinded this here. Can't take too much off because the blade's quite thin. So I grinded this off here and I want to stick it on the machine now to see if I removed sufficient weight for this thing to be statically balanced before I put it on the information in the computer. Okay, let's put it back on the machine. Okay, she's back on the machine. That's the top mark. Let's give it a spin. And let's just see what she does. Okay, it's coming to a stop now. That's where I grinded. Let's see. Okay, she's still going to the bottom. Is the top mark. If she rolls back now, then it's still heavy. Okay. So she's, she's still heavy. She's still heavy down here. The weight shifted somewhat. She's now here. So I'll carry on grinding. I'm just finished grinding now so this was the section that I grinded now this is what I grinded earlier so let's check again okay she's back on for the second time let's go to the top mark there let's see let's see where she will end up remember if this stops anywhere Without wanting the tip, without wanting to go down, then she's kind of good for the machine. Okay, there's the top. There's that mark. So there, you see, guys, she actually just stopped. I'll do it again. Give it a bit of a harder spin. Okay, there's the mark coming. That's where I grinded. She stopped, guys. Good for the machine. Okay, I'll put in the data now. All right, the pickup eye is on. Zero. Belts on. Let me put in some data. Okay, so time to start.
and then to the zero to the party here on the zero. Okay, so let's analyze this quickly guys. As you can see there, there's all the details that this thing is. And with me doing the static grinding on this impeller, it actually brought it within the permissible mass of the computer, which was 3.41. And I got it down to 3.4, which actually qualifies it by 0 0.1 grams. I'll just try to get this a little bit closer to the center and um, yeah we take it from there all right so I'll just turn this here to the spot which is there okay so this is the spot that I must grind off here so as you can see the mass was actually all here because these are the marks that I that I grinded when I took the static unbalance out and the computers tell me that just by taking this off which is actually good to go but I want to bring it closer so I'm going to grind a bit off there okay so this is where I must grind here this is where I grinded let's take off like three grams here okay let's do this All right, I just grind it there now so I don't want to take too much off I'd rather do it in small increments let's put this back on the machine and see what she does okay she's back on the machine let's see what she does all right guys this is a classic example of taking too much off so yeah i'm actually farming back with here so i must take 14 grams of now compared to the three of early on because obviously didn't realize how soft this fossil bronze was. Anyway, let's carry on. All right, so I turned the indicator to 114, as you can see there, and I made this mark here. So I'm gonna grind off there now. Okay, she's back on again. That's where I grinded. Let's see. It's coming up to speed now, guys. 295, she'll start registering. There we go. 298. Let's take off. We're getting better. So she's getting up to speed. That's perfect, guys. That's less than half a gram. She's good to go. Let's print this and make a comparison. Okay, let's make a quick comparison, guys. When we started off, we were 3.4 grams at 277 degrees, which was which qualified it, but I'd like to have gotten it further. And now with the final one, we're down to 0 0.45 at 293, which is less than half a gram. And for a big object, a big impeller like this, that's perfect. So this one is good to go. All right guys, so there you have it. It's worth knowing that when I got to the six grams, I removed the impeller from the machine at least seven times, seven to eight times, because I grinded in very small little bits off at the time. I didn't want to take off too much. That means I'd have just been chasing the weight over the show. And then I got it to the final mess, which you saw, which was less than half a gram. For such a big impeller, that's actually a nice weight to be at. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to hit the notification bell and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers for now.